Greetings, my multiversal friends, families, followers, subscribers, and... The global community at large. <laughs> I've come another week to extend the invitation to you. Yes, you. <laughs> to ponder a question or a concept. We have a concept this week and the concept is light sovereignty, part one of four. So according to Marion Webster's dictionary, sovereignty is being free from external control and of an unqualified nature. Many folks want you to believe your power lies in what you have or what you can acquire. Those powers are limited and controlled by an external exterior source. As the timeless gem says, to thine own self be true. Take the time to explore who you are, what makes you feel that way. Have I ever experienced this before? Where can I find help to heal and be whole and well? This starts our journey to shine bright in our sovereignty. You are the one who has the immitigated gall to choose wholeness over brokenness. You have the unmitigated gall to choose peace over chaos, love over hate, healing over revenge. Be sure to be true to thyselves. You affirm from your chest, in your chest space. Firm from your chest. <laughs> I understand my autonomy. I see my past as a tool to have and help me to heal. I talk with the knowing I am more than meets the eyes. I love that I have supreme authority over my feelings and emotions. I do what is needed to engage in self-care and mental wellness to continue my healing journey. I feel my freedom because I've healed my past trauma and I manage my present stuff. I walk in the immitigated wellness and wholeness because I am the light. I love you. See you next time for part two of this series. I love you much and see you next time.